All right, so we already made a couple other apps. Uh, I'm going to show another app I made, um, not showing the entire process of make, building it, but it's a, a media upload widget. So there's a pretty awesome uh, element on webcomponents.org uh, in the Vadin universe, uh, if you will, of elements. Uh, so a whole bunch of elements, they're their own you know, company. Uh, they have some pretty impressive elements in there set, but the one I really like is uh, Vadin Upload. So Vadin Upload, uh, you throw it in and you get a sweet drag and drop upload widget that is pretty amazing, <laughs> needless to say. Uh, so what I did is I uh, integrated it into an element. And so to see what that looks like, um, going through the process, you know, from video three, I basically did the same thing, except then I imported a single tag, which is fad and upload. Um, and then I've got my name here for the target is upload path, which is where to post files to. I tell it, hey, post them. And you're gonna post them in a, a file hyphen upload is uh, what the form, form data name is gonna be. And then I do some, you know, my normal reflect attribute notify just cause I like doing that as far as the path being there in case it would be updated, whatever. Um, minor styling that I borrowed from their, uh, their demo. So that's all the element is. Um, and so what I put in my manifest file then is what's, uh, what I wanted to really showcase here. So there is, uh, normally uh, when I've done these, they have menu in them. And so just to throw menu in there, right? So I normally have that. Um, but what I did instead, take that out is um, I've got a data callback, right? Cause I have to upload this file somewhere in Drupal. Um, my upload path is the name of the property to wire the data binding up to, which is coming from here, this upload path, right? So then that'll get wired in, get passed down into target. And then hopefully our files will get posted to the right place. Uh, but instead of doing a menu callback, cause I don't really want a button that says upload here, right? Um, I have block as an option. And so before we look at the code on the other side, let's see what that does is doing the media now. And so got here, I don't have a, I should have a button that says upload, right? It's normally the other demos have showed, but uh, what I have instead, if we go into blocks is I have a web component app media upload block. Uh, the reason that that's in the block system is because of that one line saying, hey, expose this as a block. And so uh, we can throw this, we'll just throw it in the content and we'll move it to the top. Okay. All right. Now on every page, I have my one page app of upload files, which is rendering the Vadin element. Um, and so let's inspect, you can see what this is, is doing uh, via XHR. So I could go and uh, grab a whole bunch of files, right? We'll just grab, those are three good ones right there, right? So I got my three files, I'm gonna drag these up and you see nice little highlighting to indicate that's where it's gonna drop them, throw them down and they're uploaded already. Now granted there's local development, so obviously it's fast, um, but you can see uh, it makes each of them happen uh, in parallel. I could drag and drop, you know, a whole bunch of images up there if I really wanted to. Um, let's find some pictures from a trip to Alaska. All right, let's dump all of them in there. This is 194 and it's going to start, see, <laughs> it's going to start uh, connecting. It's going to start sending them up there one at a time. And it's even going to get a little progressing if I could find where they are in here. So I'll get up there. Okay. Let's done, 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 done. All right, so they all went through successfully. Um, so I just uploaded 194 uh, images to Drupal there via this one little drag and drop widget. You can see the path because I put in the fact that it has a menu callback or a data callback. Obviously it has to, right? It has to send this somewhere. Um, so we can see it's got the um, CSRF token in it. We can look at the headers of what gets sent. It probably won't make a ton of sense, right? Because it's doing a, a multi-part form post, basically. Um, and so saying, hey, I've got this file. It's a JPEG, have fun. Uh, what gets returned in response is, we look in here, we got, hey, a 200, nice. 
and then file, you see here's your file entity. So what made that happen? Because obviously there's some code there that made that occur. Um, first, let's look at the fact that it did actually put them there. So close this down and you see here's my hundred and some odd files, right? They just are all up there now. It's pretty awesome. Uh, you can go to any one of them. There's a picture. Cool. So what is the code that did that? It's incredibly simple. <laughs> it makes me really happy. So LRN app media upload. So I didn't actually, there's no module in here, right? This is using the auto load capability to say if the app that I've discovered has a .php file with the same name as the element, then we're going to load that. And then it hits manifest and manifest in its callback says, hey, I'm looking for this function, that function that's here. Cool. Uh, this one also accepts uh, params, so it's going to, that, that slash data callback, you know, kind of wildcard, if you will, is going to pass in the machine name, which is LRN app media upload, our app route, which would be this whole path, um, and then parameters, which could be, you know, in this case, something like, hey, if I want to pass through a file wrapper, um, which then would say, hey, write to the P Drupal public file system versus private or, or custom one, what have you. So... I set an initial status code 403 to say, hey, it didn't work um, as my default case. Then we say, hey, check the files object and look for file upload, which relates to that right there, right? So that's the form data post I'm looking for is file upload. And then make sure that they have, whoever put this there, has the ability to create file entities of this type. So the type is going to come across and type would be, you know, image most likely. Um, could be any file, but uh, then I set upload equal to the thing that came up. Make sure it has a temporary name because it uploads it first to the temporary files directory uh, on the file system. Validate that it is an uploaded file. This is a simple PHP check. Uh, then get the contents of that file, store it in a data blob here. And then this is the Drupal file entity part is uh, file equals file save data. There's my blob of data, the file wrapper to say public, and then the name of the file uploaded. And so then if we, you know, if we were able to do that, because otherwise we'll return false if we could save it or whatever, uh, then save that object that you made and then send this back on the other side. So there's not really a lot of code here <laughs> to, to bridge this. Um, and if you have the dependencies on your site for VAD and upload in place, uh, this will just drop in and work anywhere. Um, and so it's also, I, I really like with this just development approach in general is like, yes, this function and the auto loading capability via the manifest are very Drupal specific, but really there's not a lot of Drupal, you know, lingo associated with this callback. Other, you know, if you take out the fact that we do Drupal specific uh, access checking, and then we save a file. Um, but, you know, file get contents is not part of Drupal. This is part of Drupal, right? This file save data and file save. These are really the only three parts of it that touch Drupal. So this is a pretty generalized PHP uh, uploading widget, if you will, um, outside of the interaction with the entity system. Um, also, it's, I like that you could just throw this up um, on a repo and have a, you know, have anyone be able to use it uh, in anything. This could easily get integrated into something like WordPress um, or even, you know, non-PHP systems as well because all of the, the uploading, you know, logic and everything has been disconnected from Drupal. There's no, you know, drag underscore drop underscore upload underscore widget module that you go and enable. Uh, and download and then have all this hyper-specific Drupal code to bridge. So um, that's that's kind of what it, all I wanted to show with the upload widget, just how simplistic it is. Um, and the fact that you can do these one-page apps as blocks, and then you can have multiples on the same page because of the way the routing works. Uh, so I could actually you know go to uh, the callback for this because it does exist. It just doesn't make a menu item. Um, so I could go to upload. Uh, oh, and devil is in there as well. If you go, if you have devil enabled, you can go to slash devil and get some debug information about where this lives in your file system and stuff for when you're developing. But there we go. 
I can see that I can have the block live side by side with the thing. So you get a multiple invocations of this just because of the way the tags naturally work. Um, I envision kind of starting to make these dashboards that have each element on the dashboard be a one page app and then just throw all the blocks on a page, um, make sure that their grid positioning is correct. And now suddenly we've got a much more sophisticated one page application made up of one page applications, which are just elements, which are made of elements, which are, you can probably start to see why I'm in love with this approach.